Street. Cecilia, The Electra Recordings is a compilation album consisting of recordings by the American rock band Stock Forest Group, who would later be known as Blue Oyster Cult. It is a combination of two albums recorded by the group for Electra Records, one in 1969 and the other in 1970, as well as the promotional single What is Quicksand? released in 1970. Except for the single, the tracks were not officially released until 2001, although bootlegs had existed and individual tracks had been released as bonus tracks to other albums. The band had recorded demos for Electra Records in 1969 with original vocalist Leigh Brownstein. Electra signed the group based on the demos with a $100,000 advance. When vocalist Brownstein left the band, the group re-recorded the songs in New York with new vocalist, former roadie Eric Bloom. The 10-song album was turned into Electra Completed, mixed and mastered, ready for release. For reasons unclear, Electra decided not to put out the recordings and ended their recording contract. Back to square one, the band then recorded new demos of several of the songs for Columbia Records in hopes of scoring a record deal. Some of these Columbia demos eventually surfaced as bonus tracks on the remastered version of the first Blue Oyster Cult album in 2001. After being rejected by Columbia as well, manager Sandy Perlman convinced Electra Records to give the band another shot, and the group traveled to California in February 1970 to begin reworking and re-recording the songs for a full-length album release. Meanwhile, the band had changed its name to Oaxaca, and would soon change it again to Stock Forest Group. Ultimately, after being presented with the two different versions of the album. Electra decided not to release it again, and dropped the band from the label. The group's founder and bass player, Andrew Winters, was expelled from the band as a result of Winters dedicating significantly more time to his job instead of the band. This happened after Sandy Perlman refused to allow Electra to release the album that the band cut in California, leading to no gigs and poverty for many months during the spring and summer of 1970, after the band returned to New York. This resulted in the band being dropped by Electra. The band renamed themselves Blue Oyster Cult, and finally secured a solid recording contract with Columbia Records in 1971. The recording surfaced as a bootleg in the late 1990s. Confusingly, the bootleg was titled Curse of the Hidden Mirrors, after a song on the Electra album, but Curse of the Hidden Mirror was eventually used as the title of a Blue Oyster Cult studio album in 2001. The untitled California Electra album was finally released officially in 2001, along with the previously unreleased original 69 sessions, S Street. Cecilia, the Electra recordings by Rhino Entertainment in a limited, numbered edition of 5,000 copies. It is now out of print. This same release was reissued in 2013 by Wounded Bird Records and is also now out of print. Inferior bootleg versions of the album with a shuffled track listing are available as gray area releases, such as Street. Cecilia, the California album on Radioactive Records. These releases are not made from the original master tapes like the Rhino slash Wounded Bird release. What is Quicksand? Dash 319 I'm on the Lamb, 3 o'clock Gil Blanco County, 337 Donovan's Monkey, 344 Ragamuffin Dumplin' 512 Curse of the Hidden Mirrors, 317 Arthur. Comics, 311 A Fact About Sneakers, 753 St. Cecilia, 648 Ragamuffin Dumplin' 519 I'm on the Lamb, Bloom. Bouchard, Perlman, 254 Curse of the Hidden Mirrors, 317 Bonomo's Turkish Taffy, 214 Gil Blanco County, 337 St. Cecilia, Bouchard, Perlman. Winters, 647 A Fact About Sneakers, 310 What is Quicksand? Dash 321 Arthur Comics, 310 The nicknames and quotes were given to the band members by manager Sandy Perlman. Nearly all of the members hated the nicknames, with the exception of Donald Roser, who continues to use Buck Dharma as his stage name. Thanks for watching.